Goal line technology is working very, very well. It's a different system than we see in the Premier League, um, but equally effective. I know the referees have got every faith in the system. It's 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 accurate. Uh, it's been used properly once uh, to show to show the goal for France. Um, and whilst there was a communication kind of blip because they had to show the ball hitting the post to make sure that wasn't over, so people thought, oh, it's no goal. But then they showed the second incident and the players are accepting that and that's quite nice. It takes the pressure off the referee um, because the decision has been taken out of his hands. The introduction of the spray which we've seen, the 9.15 spray as it's called, 9.15 metres, 10 yards. Um, I think it's been very, very effective. I like it. I know they've used it in the South American League. Um, clearly marked where the ball's got to be so the player can't move that forward. Spray for the distance, the wall's got to be away and, and it works. It's very effective. It'd be lovely to see it in the Premier League and, and, the, and the Football League next season. Whether they can get that approved in time, I'm not so sure. The introduction of further technology can't happen for this World Cup. Uh, maybe it will do in the future. This is proving effective. You know, you've seen goal line technology working. So maybe going forward, we could look at catching players for diving because that's the one thing that I think the public watching don't like. Referees hate being caught out by a, a, someone cheating, which is what it is. You know, we, we dress it up as simulation or diving, but it's cheating. Uh, it's pure and simple. I think if technology is brought in or reviews afterwards, retrospective bans, anything like that would help.